In this chapter, we describe space vector modulation. 2 to 3 phase projection converts the voltages at stationary coordinates, V alpha and V beta, into 3 phase voltages, VU, VV, and VW. In this type of conversion, inverse Clark transformation and spatial vector transformation are commonly used. In this video, we describe spatial vector transformation. Inverse transform is performed for two phase voltage to three phase voltage by space vector modulation. As a result, three phases of input waveform of a motor, U, V, and W, and the reverse phase waveforms X, Y, and Z, are obtained. Three phase alternating current which controls a motor consists of three sine waves, which are shifted by 120 degrees each other. Then, three axes shifted only 120 degrees are prepared first. Using the three-dimensional vector notation, each axis is set to 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1. Next, each axis is extended to the counter direction, from the starting point, the origin. Then, the extension of 1, 0, 0 comes in the middle of 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1, and this extended axis is set to the vector, 0, 1, 1. Similarly, as for the extension of 0, 1, 0, the extension is set to 1, 0, 1, and the extension of 0, 0, 1 is set to 1, 1, 0. Thereby, six quadrants are made. Here, each quadrant is called a sector. Next, two phase voltages V alpha and V beta are put on this space, and the vector V is synthesized by vector composition of V alpha and V beta. Since the synthetic voltage V rotates together with the rotor, it moves from sector to sector in order. Let me explain about the six axes which divide space. Now, this V is decomposed into the vector of two axes, 1, 0, 0, and 1, 1, 0, when the sector 0 has the voltage vector V. If the ingredient of 1, 0, 0 sets to T1, and the ingredient of 1, 1, 0 sets to T2, a right figure will be obtained. In fact, three phases of vector, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1, correspond to U, V, and W of an inverter circuit. Vector, 1, 0, 0, corresponds to U. Vector, 1, 1, 0, corresponds to U and V. Therefore, U and V are expressed as equation 5. It is always W equals 0 since an axis of the sector 0 is 1, 0, 0, and 1, 1, 0. However, in consideration of a final waveform, W is decided as follows. First, please note that there is no axis for the vectors 0, 0, 0 and 1, 1, 1 in the figure of six sectors. The vector 0, 0, 0 means U, V, and W are all zero. That is, all the upper transistors in an inverter circuit are off. Therefore, the inverter circuit cannot supply current to a motor. On the other hand, 1, 1, 1 is U equals V equals W equals 1. Reversal input is X equals Y equals Z equals 0 at this time. In other words, all the three lower transistors in the inverter circuit are off. Again, the inverter circuit cannot supply current to a motor. Therefore, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 are the operation, which nothing performs toward a motor. Furthermore, in order to make the waveform, input it into a driver in space vector modulation, a certain fixed cycle T is decided. Now, the voltage vector V in the sector 0 was decomposed into T1 and T2. When the cycle period, T, is expressed as equation 6, sector 0 does nothing during time T3, during which UVW is either 0, 0, 0 or 1, 1, 1. Thus, the waveforms of U, V, and W which were calculated are shown in the figure. Considering the symmetry of the waveforms, the intervals between the edges of the waveforms are made one half of T1 or T2, or one fourth of T3. The sum of the periods during which U, V, or W is one in a cycle is calculated by equation 7. Now, the space vector modulation to one voltage vector was completed. That concludes the description. In the next chapter, we will describe speed control, current detection, and position detection.